I went to a wedding the other day and it got emotional. Even the cake was in tears. <laughs> <laughs> right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. A very popular question at the moment is how to add external storage to a Fire Stick. The same kind of method is going to work on your Android boxes and things like that, but when you are using it on a Fire Stick, there's just a couple of extra steps, but it is super easy to do. So now we're going to show you. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And let's crack on. Right, so first of all, what I will say is, do you use external storage on your Fire Stick, or do you expand the internal storage, and why? Does it make things easier? Does it make it quicker? Do you download movies to a USB storage device, and watch them to eliminate buffering? Let us know in the comments section down below. Right, my forehead's shining, I'm sweating my tits off, and it's probably because I've got a jumper on, but... I'm dedicated. <laughs> right, so here we've got different types of external storage devices. One being an external hard drive, and one being a USB storage device. Both of them will work on a Fire Stick, and for today's sake, we're going to be using the USB device. Right, so first of all, a lot of people are going to think, why do I want to use external storage on a Fire Stick? There's numerous different benefits, and like I said, comment down below if you use them so people can go and check that out as well. But one of the main ones is people download movies and TV shows to a PC or a laptop. You can transfer them to a USB storage device and then watch them direct on the Fire Stick, and this is going to eliminate any buffering. Another great thing as well is you can install all your favourite APKs onto an external storage device and then install them onto any other device that you want. It just makes it a lot quicker. You don't have to keep installing file links, installing all different types of shit. You can just go around, plug in that bad boy in, and installing it on numerous different devices. There's also other benefits from it, but those are the two that are mainly used. And one more thing, the only thing you're going to need to make sure you've got for this is an OTG cable. What this is, it allows you to free up a USB port for your Fire Stick. Your device, your USB, will plug direct into that OTG cable. And then you've got two prongs this end. Your power cable will plug into that. And that will plug into your Fire Stick. But we've got that, bad boy. Oi, oi. <laughs> so that's the only thing you're going to need. And also, I'll leave a link in the description down below as to which USB I'm using, if I can get that focused. And I will leave a link to the exact one that I am using. Right, so now we're going to jump over to the Fire Stick and the PC and show you how to set it up, how to get it working, and it is super easy to do. So let's jump over. Let's crack on. Right, so when we first plug the USB into the PC, if you are using it this way, then you're going to see the USB drive come up there, or whatever you are using, you will see it come up there. What you may need to do is right-click, and then click on Format, and you may need to change it. This one is currently XFAT. Usually, they do tell you to have it as FAT32, but when you first plug in the USB storage device to the Fire Stick, it will ask you to format it anyway. So that will do it for you, but if it doesn't do it, then that is how you format the USB to work on the Fire Stick. Another thing to note as well, if you do format the device, it will wipe it clean. So if you do have things installed onto it, make sure you've got them backed up or you don't mind losing them. Right, so we've got the USB plugged in, but we're going to need one app so we can access it and use the USB. So one thing you're going to need is Downloader. If you haven't got it already, it's available in the Amazon App Store. But I'm guessing everybody doing this video has already got Downloader installed on their device. If you haven't already, check out my previous videos. So now we're going to scroll down and we're going to enter Downloader. And then we're going to visit this website exact as I type it. So let's crack on .org is where we're going to visit. So when we click on Go, it's going to take us to that website. And if you are using the latest version of Downloader, JavaScript will already be enabled and all that kind of shit. If not, head to Settings on the left and then there you go. Right, so once we're here, we're going to click on the three-line button, hamburger menu, whatever you want to call it. There's a big debate around it, and we're going to click on that. And then we're going to click on Downloads. So once we're on Downloads, we're going to scroll down the page, and then it's going to say Useful Tools and Essentials. And you're going to see it says ES File Explorer. We're going to click on that. And a lot of people may already have this installed on their device, but for those who haven't, this is going to be an important step for you. We're going to scroll down, and we're going to click on Download Now. Then it's going to take us through to this page here, and then you're going to get a little countdown there, as you can see. And in three seconds, it's going to start downloading automatically. So now it's on zero seconds. Are you ready? This side is it. 
Ba-bing. <laughs> so now it's connecting and it's going to start downloading. A lot of people have been having issues with no connection. And as you can see, I'm having the same issue. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on back. I don't know why it does it. I don't know why it is. I'm going to click on download now again. Then hopefully this time it is going to start installing. It's just a little bug that it has been experiencing lately. And it's not just for one website or one person. It seems to do it a lot now. So as you can see, this time it is working. But quite a few times I've got error no connection. Don't know why it is. But just know the internet is connected. It's allowing you to visit different web pages. But it just seems like sometimes it's a bit intermittent when using download. But do bear in mind you can use Puffin TV to download APKs as well. Right, so once the download has finished, we're going to click on install. Give it a couple of moments. And that is going to say app not installed. And this is because I've already got it installed on my device. So when I click on done, make sure you click delete and then delete again. This is going to save a lot of storage on your device. If you go down to files on the left hand side, you're going to see they all stack up there. These are just installation files. We don't need them. Long hold the enter button, click on delete and get rid of those. Once we've got ES File Explorer installed, we can click on launch application and it's going to come up like this. And you're going to see at the right hand side, just above my head there, oh man, it says SD card. It may say something different for you, but there will be another storage device added there. What you can do is simply click on it and it will show you what's already installed onto the device. One thing to bear in mind as well, which I did forget to mention, if you do format your USB device or your external hard drive, if you format it, it will delete everything from it. So do bear that in mind. And then say you've installed movies onto it or TV shows, you can click on whichever folder you need and then simply click on that bad boy. It's going to start playing. Allow. It's using VLC Play. You can use MX Player. Both available on my website. And then ding dang they do. We're playing. And it's as simple as that. You're not going to get no buffering. The quality is going to be full. It's just going to be smooth playback, which is what we like. I've got another one installed there, which I'll also use as well, just to test. And this one is giving me the option. Do I want to use ES Media Player, VLC Player, or any other players that are installed? I'm going to use ES Media Player for this one. Click on OK. As you can see, starts up lovely again. Full video quality. It looks absolutely mint. I'm loving life. <laughs> Don't those fish look absolutely beautiful? Same thing if you've got music installed onto it. Go into the folder, click on it. You'll be able to play it direct from there. Another thing we did say is if you install APKs onto the external storage, you can access them on here as well. And as you can see, they do come up. And then to install them from the USB device, you can click on it. It allows you to install it. And it's that easy. So you don't actually have to download anything anymore. The only thing you really need is ES File Explorer. Now that's installed to his device. So as you can see, we've got Smart YouTube installed. And it installed from our USB device. Right, so another thing you can do is when you click on internal storage, you're going to see all the different folders that are inside your Fire Stick. Usually when you're downloading stuff, it will go into the downloads folder. And as you can see, these are the download files I've still got installed on the Fire Stick that I haven't deleted. A great thing you can do is long hold it. And then at the bottom there, you're going to see it comes up with a copy, cut, delete, rename, all that kind of shit. You can cut it and paste it. But if you want to put that onto the USB device, you can click on copy. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go back, back again. We're going to go into the SD card, so the USB storage again. Click on review. And then at the bottom there, you're going to see it says paste. We're going to allow permissions. And it's already installed on the USB device, but I'm going to let it overwrite. And then Aptoid, as you can see, has been copied successfully. So you can also move files and folders around from your Fire Stick to your USB device or from your USB device to your Fire Stick. I do think it's quite a handy little thing. But yeah, that's pretty much how you use an external storage device on your Fire Stick. Right, so that's how to expand external storage on your Fire Stick. Like I said, it might not appeal to a lot of people. A lot of people may not see the point in it and may not use it or benefit from it. But it was a very popular question, so I just wanted to show you how to do it. And if it's helped at least two people, it was worth doing. <laughs> right, so that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da!